It was fab, was, was purely to try and invoke the feeling of 1967, 68. I think in the past, you know, the Beatles, um, we had great fun and then we had great pain and misery together and we had a lot of problems. As everybody knows, we went up and down and round and round. And at this stage of my life, I can look back on it and really remember the good things about it. And that song is, is really uh, in celebration of the good side of it. It's certainly wonderful to be here and certainly a thrill. <laughs> We've all gone through problems with businesses and different things, but they've all slowly been getting solved. And we're right on the point now, I think, the best time we've ever been at in order to get all our past problems solved. Plus the fact that we've spent a lot of time uh, with meetings with Paul, having dinner and just being friends because having not spent a lot of time with him, you have to re get to re-know each other again. And we were just in the process of doing that and enjoying each other's company and with Ringo, having dinner, just having a laugh. And for some strange reason, he, he decided to superimpose some old business thing that was getting solved anyway on, onto the Hall of Fame. And uh, it was a shame he didn't come, really. It's had a deal together that the Beatles were us four. If any one of that four wasn't in the band, the Beatles wouldn't exist. And it, it can't really exist just with the three of us. But at the same time, we could all be on a stage together, I suppose, like we could have done at the Hall of Fame if Paul had been there. It's always fun working with Ringo. You see him in the video of Fab, and he's so cute. <laughs> he is, you know. He's like um, whatever it was about him in Hard Day's Night, you know, where he just had this natural thing that, that makes him cute. He's still got it. Well, I've been busy making films, but I have also made a few recordings. Last year, we made a, a film which is just out in New York now and Los Angeles which is the first American film with all American people, uh, actors and crew, and that's called Five Corners, directed by Tony Bill. I must admit I prefer records because there's more control that you can have over records. It's not just making a record anymore. You have to do promotion, you have to do your videos, and unfortunately everybody gets to see you, <laughs> or fortunately, whichever way you look at it. And. Uh, it just means, you know, it's much higher profile and makes it more difficult getting around again. Sometimes it drives me crazy because there was so much attention on the Beatles that it, it, it left very little space for um, privacy or to, just to breathe, generally. But at the same time, I realized there was such a lot of love. There's a lot of love out there for us, too.